the purpose of this tool, the inspiration for this tool, was to be able to isolate certain muscles. If her hamstring is a little smaller, I can turn it at an angle like this. It cradles that bone really nicely. So you, you now have something that's stabilizing that trap going like this and into there, into there. Trap really nicely this way as well. And again, if I turn the tool this way, if it's a little narrower muscle, press the SCM into that a little bit. Right there, I feel a little speed bump. Okay, so you can work through there. Then you can take the little tool and work right in between the spinous processes. And you see, I can go right in between. Them. Because of the shape of the tool, it will just lift up and over and not get. And I'm using this flat edge and going along right along that root of the scapula, that part of the T-bar, and that will fit right in between the ribs beautifully. I'm right in there, but I will, of course, have both of my hands. You can use this on the side of the foot as well. You can use this all over this calcaneus, all of the muscle that runs right along there. She's. So if I push against something with my thumb, you can see my tip of my thumb isn't all the way there. If, if my thumb was the length of the tool, I'd be using my thumb to do the work, which there are many other tools out there which are a little silly. They slide over your thumb and then you use your thumb to do the work. Well, I don't see the point in that. So it applies all of the pressure right up here. Palm of the hand is doing all the work and your thumb is completely on vacation kind of just getting the final part of it. Now, this finger is feeling the spinous processes and this one's sensing the transverse processes. So I into the subscapular. I know how difficult that is on your thumb on most uh, That's where the spoon bill tool comes in. It is just a dream come true. You can slide up underneath there. So I could, on some people, even put my hand. That's why I made this handle longer. This way I can actually kind of use this as a fulcrum and I could work through this sub oh there we found a sore spot so we actually are getting into something in this position that we couldn't get the other way when you're doing effleurage your thumb is constantly being pulled back it takes all of that pressure out of your thumb you're just sliding in that laminar groove with the curved area which just fits beautifully covers the whole erector group and you can see how beautifully the shape just fits right on the body tool is right there along the spinous processes and by just putting a little of my body weight on her now this is what's happening here I'm keeping my fingers right on those spinous processes so you can do that whole erector right on the crest of her ilium here so using the best friend tool with the round tip I can get using I've, I've put the tool against my tummy and the difference between your patient getting better and just getting relief is usually how precise and how thorough you are. So the more information you have, the more you know, you can get tremendous results. <laughs> You're right on that one. <laughs>